Okay. Uh, that's awkward. Um, shit. I guess I'll pick it up. All right. I'm Andrew Paul Scatino, and I'm going to uh, show you in a series of videos how to uh, skin and bake a beautiful channel catfish. So first, you get a beautiful channel catfish. There's one right there. Put my hand there for scale. So this puppy is, I don't know, maybe 18 inches long. And, you know, you can get these uh, by fishing. Or even better way, which is the way I got this one, is you have a friend uh, who catches a bunch of catfish and doesn't know how to uh, dress them and prepare them. And so, you know, you spend a couple hours, you help him uh, dress and prepare uh, two beautiful foot-long catfish. And then, uh, you know, a couple months later, he knocks on your door and hands you uh, this puppy that he caught. So this is a, this is a big one, so I'm going to bake it. But before we bake it, we got to do a lot of other stuff. Now, they're a lot of work, but it, it's, it's fun work, and um, then you get to eat a delicious catfish. So, you need some tools, and I'm going to put this back down. That's going to work. So you need some tools. You need a really sharp X-Acto blade. Your skin's pretty tough. You need a pair of sharp scissors. You need a pair of pliers. You need a nail. I could have used a bigger one, but that's the only one I could find. You need a hammer. You need a board. And you need a channel catfish. So, here's what we're going to do. Um, before we before we nail this guy to the board, um, we're going to get the we're going to get the skin going on the head because after that it's going to be upside down. So that's where the exacto blade comes in. So what I'm going to do, I guess I can turn this a little bit so you can see what the hell I'm doing. Just kind of feel behind the head where the where the gill plate is. And you want to cut behind that. Go around the gills. Right down the side. This puppy is. Okay. And you go across the top. Got it. Come around the other side. The big boy. And you know, it's not rocket science, you just do the best you can. Okay. So now I got the head, got the top cut all the way around. So here's where the board and the nail come in. Turn this puppy upside down. And I'm going to wash my hands. Oh, this is going to be a mess. Actually, I'm going to spend a lot of time washing my hands. I'm going to get a little, get a little bowl of uh, sudstone here with antibacterial dishwashing liquid. Otherwise I'll be spend all day washing my hands. Okay. So I'm gonna nail the head to the board. It's going to let me skin this thing without an assistant. Wow. 
Wow. Looks like I'm going to have to go a little shallower. No. Damn. Hell, that nail go, Christ! There it is. Wow, that's in the cartilage, and I can barely get that damn thing out. Now maybe I don't need to get it. Okay, I don't need to get it out. So, now that's nailed to the board. And that's going to be very helpful. So, I'm going to go around here. Now, here you can use the scissors. It's a little easier. A little easier being a relative term. Let me go back to this. Even though he's been dead a long time, he's still not going to make it easy. But he's not going to win this fight. Okay. So now, got to get to the body cavity so I can get the guts out. Want to kind of go all the way down to its ass. Got to cut through some cartilage. to his asshole. There we go. Okay, now this is the part that's not good for squeamish people, but got to be done. You just reach in there with your hands, get those guts out, throw them away, and just put them in the garbage disposal. Big catfish with a lot of guts. And there's his liver. A piece of it. Now catfish are bottom feeders. So before we cook it, we're going to soak it in salt water to kill any bacteria. Again, it's not rocket science, you know, you just keep grabbing stuff until all the guts are out. There's his lungs. That's pretty cool. Actually, that's his flotation bladder. He did pretty good in anatomy class, but... Oh, nice. Check that out. You don't want to take the head off yet because you're going to use that nail to keep it in place. 
man. I'm gonna get my scissors and cut this shit out of here. Well, my doc my dad wanted me to be a doctor. Well, I guess this is as close as I'm gonna get. Get my hands cleaned up. Okay. So let's see how long we've been going. Oh, 10 minutes. All right, let's pause it at 10 minutes. So, 10 minutes in, we've got it gutted. Then the next step is going to be skinning it. So that's a good place to start over. I'm going to clean my hands off.